Hey, can you, uh, as cute as this is, can you come over here, sir? <laughs> Might be one of those days again with the videos. <laughs> I have nothing. So welcome back, everybody. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about... So we're not talking about anything. <laughs> so today I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting asked quite a bit lately, which is how do I live with multiple healers? And the answer to that is magic. Lots and lots of magic. Actually, it's a lot more coffee than this stuff. If I drank as much as I wanted to, I would not be able to keep up with my healers at all. It's mostly coffee and tea. But every once in a while, a stiff drink does help. So one of the main reasons I think I make it work so well with multiple healers is I'm here almost 24-7. So for the last couple of years, I've been basically a housewife and a dog mom full-time. That gives me the benefit of taking care of all the pets here, not just the healers. Yes, thank you for giving Paul, you're not getting another cookie. And for anybody who says being a housewife is not a real job, you can just go And also, if you think I've never known hard labor and done hard work, you can go again. I'm, I'm going to be nice. But I have the benefit of being here with them for all their training and to check any behavioral stuff if there is any. Like, I'm literally with them all the time. And with this breed, you need to make sure you have the time for them. They're not the type of dog that you can just leave in your house, uh, you know, for eight hours a day or whatever, which I, I've never done that with my dogs anyway. I can't, uh, four hours has always been the max and that's very rare that that happens. And my situation might change soon. I'm not sure yet. We're still debating on that because I really don't make a full-time living on YouTube regardless of what people think. So that does worry me if I do have to go to work, how this is all going to work with all the cattle dogs. Hi, Clea. But as of right now, I'm here and that's helpful. <laughs> Another thing, I make sure all my cattle dogs have their own spots in my house. And what I mean by that is, you know, whether it's, you know, spots on the couch where they sit next to me, or I make sure they have their own special places, I guess, where they like to sit. Um, I make sure that they have their own areas to eat. They, it's always the same. And, you know, even when I pass out chew bones, <laughs> I will try to guide them into certain spots where they eat those bones and you know if somebody gets up and tries to go into another area I will guide them back to that spot and that goes for even when we go to bed at night you know I've got you know Gypsy and Sully in one spot on me and then I've got Clea on the other so that kind of it helps to make sure that they have their own places one thing that's also kind of to my benefit but it's also a really sad benefit you know Silver our, our fourth cattle dog which yes we have four still I know some people think I only have three I have four um, she she doesn't follow the crew anymore. She doesn't follow mommy as much as she used to or almost not at all anymore because she's very old. So that's kind of to my benefit, but it's also really sad because when we first got the girls, she was still following with the pack. You know, she was still doing her cow dog things and now she just sleeps a lot, which is fine. She's earned it. She's very, very old. You know, people also ask, do they get jealous? Yes, they do get jealous of each other. There will be some days where you know, Gypsy might be more demanding on the attention or somebody else might be and it's all about mommy spend time with me only type thing. So I do try to make sure I do special things with each one of them um, when I see that they need it type thing. Of course, they always need it. Cow dogs always want the special time with them and only them. But I've been very fortunate that if any jealousy has happened or if I see some things, like you have to really watch body language with this breed. And you know, when I see somebody getting a little too upset over something, I will tell whoever's doing whatever to go move over here or move or guide them or something just to try to make sure nothing happens. Which brings me into piffs or fights. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, are my dogs aggressive towards each other and do they, you know, try to kill each other? Not really. Have there been piffs? Yeah, there's been little, you know, arguments just like any siblings would get into little fights over something. You know, Gypsy and Clea are over three years old and they officially had their first uh, piff little fight thing happen maybe two, three weeks ago. And it was over a toilet paper roll. Um, it was a toilet paper roll that Sully pulled out of the trash can and had laid on the office floor. And for some reason, those two girls just kind of went at it after each other over the toilet paper roll. So, but I was there and I told them to knock it off and they did. But that's, that was the first piff they've ever been into. So, which it actually shocked us all because they have such a nice bond together, but they just really wanted that toilet paper roll. The only time I've ever had really major issues with 
having multiple dogs was when uh, Coggy and Lucian both started becoming ill. Um, you know, with Coggy's dementia and then Lucian having so much issues when his liver was failing him. That did cause some bad things to happen. And there were some fights here and it was shocking because it just, it wasn't who they were. That was because of what was going on with them health-wise. That wasn't anything to do with how our household was run and how they were reacting or how they like interact normally with each other. But 98 to 99 percent of the time it's smooth sailing in this house and that still sometimes shocks me um, even to this day because we have so many pets that are not just healers here. <laughs> we have a, you know, we have the variety of pets here. And I think the biggest thing I've got going for me when it comes to living with multiple healers is I have experience. I have experience in dog handling. I have experience working in the pet field, you know, so I know what to look out for. I know, and I don't know everything. Nobody, I, I don't think, does. But I know enough to where I can make it work and would keep it smooth sailing. Now, on days where we can't go for our walks or can't exercise them the way I want to, things get irritating here because they are bored and they start doing irritating sibling crap to each other. And trying to entertain them with other things isn't always going to work, but I still try, <laughs> whether it's with interactive toys or training or something to keep them occupied or even trying to get them to just run in the house a little bit to burn off some of that energy on those days, but those days don't happen that often because I really do try to make sure that I'm out there every day with them. I personally think that if you have multiple dogs of any breed, there's always going to be challenges because every breed comes with its own challenges. You know, I hear it all the time from people that they can only handle the one, they don't understand how I can handle all of them, and it's I really think it boils down to I have the time. I also have a way more better understanding of the breed after researching and experiencing them for as long as I have now than I used to. I mean, I see other healer mamas and possibly healer daddies, but mostly I see healer mamas out there who have literally 10 to 15 cattle dogs in their home, and all I can think is I think five would be my max. <laughs> I'm not sure I could do 10. Maybe if I didn't have the birds, I could do 10, but the birds that's a whole other story because that's a whole other thing of training and or trying to train and giving time to them. But it's like I always say you start off with one healer if you can handle it then you can think about getting a second one but I always do try to remind people that if you're not sure how to handle the jealousy with them mm. or if you're not gonna be able yeah oh, or if you're not gonna be able to give both of them all the time in the world then maybe you should just stick with one because they they are very demanding on their attention and their need for work and to exercise. And there are some cattle dogs out there that just will not do well with other dogs, period. I'm very, very lucky that all my healers have done exceptionally well with sharing me because they really don't want to share their person. And I'm very lucky even though Sully has some dog reactivity, depending on the dog he sees, he is okay with his so I can see that he is starting a nice bond with Gypsy, even though it's like a brother-sister, I love you, hate you kind of relationship. Like, I I'm very fortunate that this has all worked out. I don't want people to look at these videos and think that it's always going to be easy to, to train every, like, it's it's not going to be like you just bring home another cow dog and everything's perfect. I've seen too many emails and just so many bad situations happen or, you know, like I just said, you know, cow dogs sometimes just don't want to be around other dogs. And, you know, that's why some of them get labeled when you're going to rescues and shelters as this has to be an only dog because they, they, they really want all of their property and their peoples to themselves, you know, and some take that to way more of an extreme, if that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining that right. You know, maybe there is some magic involved in this because I, I, I honestly don't know how I make it work sometimes. Yes, I'm here all the time, and yes, I'm doing everything in the world for all my pets, especially my cattle dogs, because I want to make sure everybody is extremely happy and well taken care of, care of but if there's any kind of magic to it, it has to be like in my aura or or maybe I just smell funny or something, <laughs> you know, like I smell like a pet and that's why these animals flock to me so much. I'm one of those people that it just animals flock to, so I'm not sure. Maybe that has something to do with it too, how I make it work here. I'm not trying to like be cocky or whatever, it's just 
I mean, hell, kids flock to me too, and I, I don't like that. <laughs> but, it's, but living with multiple healers can be wonderful if you can make it work, whether it's one, five, or 15, <laughs> apparently. But really think about how much training and everything you've gone through with one, and then think about having to do that with multiple ones. Because even after you get them all trained and everybody's out of the puppy stage, and they've kind of calmed down. Notice I said kind of calmed down. <laughs> like, you're dealing with not just uh, one energetic dog, but multiple ones. So you've really got to think, you know, can you walk multiple dogs? Can you give them all the attention that you know? There's all those factors that go into it. So we wanted to say thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> to Boots. To Boots. Thank you. Boots. <laughs> and I'm drunk. Yes, they, they gave us a donation on our Kofi page. Yes, thank you for Kofi. And it's actually not going to coffee this year. We we actually <gasps> took the <No. laughs> we took the donation and purchased a wonderful little gift for the babies, which they will get next week. I know it's sad that we didn't purchase coffee for ourselves, huh? Yes. I know. And I also want to give a huge thank you to Bernie for sending me this because this is amazing. <gasps> Awesome. <laughs> and for all the gifts for the babies, they'll get those next week as well, along with the present from Boots. Yes. And it'll hold all the magic <laughs> that we need for healers. <laughs> but we really appreciate all the love and support you guys give us, and um, yeah. Danger. <laughs> Are you not entertained? I'm not entertained. <laughs> Puppet's work is never done. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe. Yeah. No, 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 no. Click all the buttons. <laughs> yes, click all the buttons, and we will see you in the next video.